In our last video, we talked about why Kong might lose in the battle against Godzilla in the upcoming movie. If you haven't seen it, then you can check it out after this one. It will also be displayed in the end screens. In this one right now, we will go in depth on both the battle axe that Kong was seen using in the trailer and also we will see how Mechagodzilla might have been created. This is one of many mini breakdowns of the trailer that we have made that was shown to us in this month but we hope that there won't be any second trailer as everything might be dissected and the movie would be seen before it is seen if you get what I mean. So let us see how both of these are made, their origins if you may. Let's do it. The Battle Axe in the Trailer Okay, so let us start with the Battle Axe, the super weapon that Kong will be using against Godzilla in the movie. In the trailer, Kong was first seen holding and dragging something, which we expect might be the axe in the scene where he meets the little girl Gia. And then we can see it more clearly when he was raising it above his head, sounding a battle cry, while a couple of alien-looking hollow earth anti-gravity vehicles are hovering in the background. Then we see a close-up of it when he was about to face Godzilla in daylight scene. Then again when he was running and charging against the G-Man, which continued with the scene of Godzilla shooting his atomic breath, but sadly the axe absorbed it and it was used to hack his face, ending in an explosion. So what is it made of? When we first saw glimpses of the battle axe last year in the toy leaked images, it was very clear that it was a dorsal plate of Godzilla or maybe from one of Godzilla's species that was used as the blade of the weapon. That was confirmed when we first saw the trailer. It would make sense as only a weapon made from Godzilla himself can penetrate his tough hide. The axe glows blue, not unlike Bilbo's letter opener, Sting. Which is more curious is the handle of the axe. It was first thought to be made of some kind of wood but then, that is too fragile in a battle of the titans. Then we see it was a bone, a thigh bone from another titan most probably. But which one? The most probable candidate for this is the Muto since the leg of the Muto can emit EMP and while doing that it glows red in color, much like the handle of the axe which makes sense as the EMP could dial down the intensity of the atomic breath. So who made it and where was it made? Theories around this are vast and one can only choose one or the other. But by looking at the trailer, Kong was seen battling the Wabats without the weapon which means he was on the road to retrieving it inside the Hollow Earth. This could have happened before Kong was transported away on the ship but then again we did not see any evidence of the weapon during that time. So Kong would have gotten the axe when he travels to the Hollow Earth after that battle but it is yet to be confirmed. So some say that Kong made the axe from Godzilla's dorsal plates but time doesn't allow him to do that and survive. So the best theory is that it was made by Kong's ancestors in the Hollow Earth and that was left there after an unknown cataclysm that led them away from the place to Skull Island and that Kong had to go back there to get it. But how is it effective in a fight against Godzilla? Well, like I said earlier, the axe is made up of two things that are already deadly against the giant lizard. One which has evolved to be a part of him, his dorsal plate which actually is impermeable and immune to the atomic breath. In fact, it has the ability to absorb and store the energy kinda like a capacitor or a battery. And no wonder Kong could use it to deflect and absorb the Godzilla Kamehameha. Another thing is that the bone which is most probably the Muto thigh bone, just a theory again, mind you. The Muto bone can still emit EMP while being powered by the dorsal plate's lingering energy. And this EMP can lessen and dial down the power of the atomic breath. We can clearly see that Godzilla's 2014's breath was weak against the Muto's as they have evolved this defense mechanism specifically to counter Godzilla. So that's that. Now let's see the other elephant in the room, Mecha Godzilla. In the first scene of the trailer, we see an explosion that happened in a city that is in Asia, Seoul in South Korea or maybe Hong Kong, and there was no titan or monster anywhere to be seen. There were a series of explosions in fact, and they don't seem to have that lingering fire that is usually seen in explosives, which only means that this was from a strange energy source and that would be seen in the movie. Then we get to the scene where people are fleeing and running underground hiding from something. Why do people do that? hide underground in metro stations when titans or kaijus fight. Anyway, it is here that we get our first look into Mecha Godzilla. It was a short second of him but it is unmistakable, the mechanized titan that humans are creating as was seen in the end credit scenes of KOTM, it was silver and had red glowing parts which might be his power systems. Around 1 minute and 42 seconds into the trailer we see 
Ren Serizawa standing in front of a screen that showed specs and statistics of Mechagodzilla. He would be the estranged son of a Serizawa that seeks revenge on Godzilla because of the death of his father. In the screen we can see written on it the battery systems and also the minimum charge, which means that Mechagodzilla has to be charged in order to fight. Mechagodzilla will have a very segmented body with various modular parts and the most visible feature are the four toed feet. We can also see acoustic signatures down in the screen meaning that it will be able to sound out alpha calls or also its bio signatures if needed. So there are many Mechagodzilla theories running amok in the internet and the comments sections of various YouTube videos, including our own. And the most common one is that Mechagodzilla will be like his first incarnation where he can camouflage himself to look like Godzilla and therefore destroying cities and everything in sight to turn the world against the G-Man to frame him. But, but that too might be false. It might just be the G-Man hunting Mechagodzilla. So going back to the topic at hand, how is Mechagodzilla made? First of all, we can see him being all silver and shiny like a freaking tablespoon. So yes, he will be made of metal and if we look at how he can walk through buildings demolishing them like paper houses, it means that the outer layer will be made of some tough and super durable alloy. Of course, it will be like vibranium or Mandalorian steel in that it is fictional, but even that would need a body frame to stand out like the G-Man. So I'm guessing Monarch or Apex would use the skeleton of Dagon as a template for the creation of this mechanized titan. And for those who don't know who Dagon is, he is an ancestor of Godzilla that died fighting Muto Prime and his remains were seen in the beginning of Godzilla 2014. So the body is complete. But what about the brain and the head? Well, King of the Monsters gave us that. The decapitated head of Ghidorah would be used to steer and function this mecha and create the brain waves and biosignature. It isn't really a new thing. In fact, Ghidorah has been used in the past Toho movies to construct Mecha Godzilla. But everything went haywire when he regains consciousness and takes over control systems of the Mecha, which might actually happen again with this one too. So here we have it. This is just again a theory. No leaked plots or images, just utilizing this kaiju fan brain to connect the dots. So Mecha Godzilla would be made up of Ghidorah's goofy head Kevin, Dagon's skeletal system and a very hot alloy exterior. The bell axe would be made up of Godzilla or Godzilla species dorsal plate, a muto thigh bone tied pretty tight with the skin of a warbat I hope. Would be great seeing Kong, you know, skinning a warbat. That seems about right. <laughs> anyway, put your thoughts down there in the comment section on this matter and like, subscribe for more videos and also smash that notification bell for regular updates. Till the next one. Take care, fam.